Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Michelle. It is currently 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm up, I'm dressed. I have to run a few errands before this procedure. My surgery is literally in like four days and I'm trying to avoid it as much as I can. I'm usually on point with everything as far as being organized, but I felt like if I spend too much time thinking about my procedure and everything that comes with it and all the preparation, it was gonna just make my anxiety even more heightened. I figured why not deal with everything when it's almost crunch time, basically. Yeah, I'm going to, first stop is going to be Walmart. I wanna get some post-op stuff because you guys already know I'm gonna be right here, man down for a couple of days. I wanna make sure that I'm comfortable and I have everything that I need. I don't wanna burden my family or anybody and have them go to the store constantly for me because I need stuff. I'm very organized and self-sufficient. I wrote everything down in my phone. This will probably be like a three-day vlog because tomorrow I have to go, I think I have to get a COVID test and some blood work. <sighs> Pray for me with that, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Friday, I booked an appointment to do something with this burr because I'm tired of doing my hair. You know, like I know when I'm sick and I feel like shit, my hair is the least of my worries. Overall, I'm in good space. I'm trying to just keep myself occupied so that I don't think about what's about to happen. I think most of my anxiety is stemming from the preparation. I literally have so many different medications, the do's, the don'ts, when to do it, the times, and I'm just overwhelmed with all these medications. I, I've never had to take medication. Of course, this is gonna be temporary, but if you mix this with that one, this one every four to six hours, the preparation the night before, fasting. I'm just thinking like all of this in my head right now, as I'm telling you guys, it's, it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot, but your girls got this. We're gonna get this done. We're gonna do what we have to do. If I have time today, I do want to get my nails done and my toes. I might not even have to get my nails done. Your girl's been loving the press on nails, okay? I've had these on since my last vlog where you guys seen me put them on. What was that, like two weeks ago, week and a half ago? And they still here. Two of them popped off. I'm not gonna lie, two of them popped off, but super glue was clutch. The other day I went to Five Below and I seen that they had some more. So I was like, oh, these are holographic artificial. So it's like a mirror, shiny. Let me show y'all. Aren't these cute? And then I picked up the French tip again just to have it. I probably won't even need to do my nails. I could just save me some coins, but I do want to get my toes done. I know this is something new for me and I'm trying to prepare myself mentally for what is gonna happen. Yes, it's very common and a lot of people get this, but this is not something familiar to me. So it's very new to me and it's very scary to me. So I wanna make sure I feel good mentally and I wanna pamper myself just a little bit going into surgery only because I already feel sad about certain things. So I'm just gonna pick myself up, why not? I can do something to lift my spirits, why not do it? You guys get what we're doing. If you guys are excited to come with me last minute shopping before my surgery, Get your jacket on, get your shoes on, let's go. It's okay if you're not dressed and you're not looking the best. I still love y'all. So I'm in Walmart right now and I'm in the pajama section. I have a pair of pajamas that I got from Forever 21, but that's not enough. I wanted to get at least two pairs. I'm not having good luck right now. So as I'm walking, I see these super cute panties. Don't sleep on Walmart panties. And these are on sale for $3. So your girl gonna have to grab a few. These are super cute. I really like these. Are these the high waist? Oh no, they're boy shorts. Let's see if they have my size. I need a good old three. Here we go, here we go. I'll take these. I like the yellow. So we got these and these. We'll do the polka dots. All right, so I need some socks. I don't know if I'm the only one who has a whole bunch of socks. Like I bought so many socks and literally can't find none. I'm gonna make life easier and we just gonna grab a pair. I like black, black and white. I feel like you can't go wrong with either or. So we'll grab these. They have a whole bunch right here for our dollar. So you know I'm gonna have to get some. I like these. These are cute too. Go with these. So I gave the pajamas another spin only because I just felt like they had to be some pajamas and I saw these. Not my top pick, but I do need something that's gonna be comfortable while I'm laying down and loose fitting around my stomachs. Of course, they don't have my size. Everything is way too big for me. The smallest size that they do have is a four six. I'm usually like a size three. I'm probably just get this anyway. This is so cute. This is very, very cute, but sometimes it's cold in the house. That's why I was looking for pajama pants and not the shorts. Well, I have one set that's shorts and I don't know if this is pajamas or if it's an outfit, it's so cute. Getting ready to leave the aisle and then I saw that they have these over here. So I probably could grab a pair of these and just find a t-shirt to go with it, right? You, should I get those? 
Let me see. Huh? Should I get these? You want me to get these? Yes. These are only $10.98. And these are $18.98. So, yeah, all know I'm trying to go the cheaper route. We're going to go with these and pair with a shirt. Okay, so I'm over with the medications. And I think my doctor called me in a prescription for something. But I know that the last time I had a procedure done, this really freaking helped me. I know after surgery, you accumulate a lot of gas. And if you have ever felt the effects of the gas after surgery, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm going to make sure that I have this on deck because that shit feels like it's running through your shoulders, your chest, everywhere. I don't really like the chewable ones. I wish I could just swallow it because this is disgusting. You holding on to mommy's neck? Where you want to go now? Train. To the trains? Yes. I knew you were going to say you wanted to go to the trains. Okay, so some of my instructions, like the night before, my prep is to drink a lot of fluids. My doctor said I could drink coconut water or Gatorade, anything like clear. So I'm going to go with Gatorade. I actually bought this maybe like two weeks ago, but it didn't stand a chance in my house. So I'll probably get one of these. I'll do red and blue because I do want to make sure I'm nice and hydrated. Can yes. you do it? Yes. Wow. It's strong. It's, you're very strong. <laughs> Definitely gonna pick up one of these. Of course, this is essential. Even though I'm more of a sweats type of lady, I'll go with it. I'll take it. It's $1.88. I don't know if I should go with the bottle or should get the individuals. Most likely should get these only because it'll be easier for me to just keep on my bedside. I'm definitely gonna grab some of these. These are my favorite cup of noodles. I like these normally, but these will be easier for me only because it's my personal thing, so I'll grab a few of these. I actually am looking for the other soup that comes in the box. This is the one I'm talking about. This is really good when your stomach doesn't feel good. I love my Pop-Tarts. I stick with the blueberry and the strawberry, but I think they're doing too much with the Eggo Pop-Tarts. Come on. All right, guys, so it is the next day. It's about quarter to two. I'm currently sitting in the hospital parking lot waiting on two o'clock to hit because I have to get some blood work. I also have to get a COVID test, but I have to go to a different location for the COVID test. Why did I think both of them was gonna be done here? I'm ready to get this over and done. Still have a few minutes to do nothing. So I was like, let me just talk to you guys. Probably after these appointments, I'm gonna head over and get my toes done, being that it's only like five minutes away. Now it's three days to the surgery and starting to get real for me. The weather is really nasty today. It rained earlier like a lot. It's just gloomy and just like crappy. So real stugging it today. I got my sweats on, my black Air Forces, not the white ones though. Y'all don't know about the black Air Forces. Yeah, I better ask about when you wear black Air Forces. Just a chill day. I didn't want to come outside, but I had to. So after this whole setup, I'm going to do that. And then I have to, unfortunately, blow dry my hair. So I'm about to go in right now. They'll probably take me early, hopefully. Get this done, and I'll see you guys when I figure out what I'm doing after this. All right, guys. So I'm back home. I ended up not going to the nail salon because my hair is more of a priority. And my appointment's early in the morning, so I figured... Why not tackle my hair being that it takes longer? So I wash my hair really quickly, just once. And I'm going to just blow dry it really quick so that it's prepared for tomorrow. Ask me if I feel like doing this right now. I am exhausted. There's literally always something to do. my baby with me we're running late we're running late but it's okay we're gonna get there you know mom i drive like a nascar driver so we're gonna get there my hair looks real peasy in the front but we're about to change all of that we're about to do something with this haul so i'll see you guys when i get to my appointment oh by the way two days left until my surgery so yeah the countdown is really what is today today's saturday finally got my hair done i didn't record my hair because i forgot my camera in the damn car and i was just like not in the mood i was rushing Damn, my earring fell out. I was rushing. It was early and I just didn't feel like doing it. I was like, I'll just show you guys after. It's a good feeling when your hair is done because now I don't have to worry about doing it. That's one less thing I can cross off my list. Everything's working out. I feel like the only thing I need to do now is do my toes. I forgot to show you guys my nails. These are the Presto nails and I love them. Tell me they don't look so good. They match my outfit today, actually. This is the outfit of the day. I actually got this outfit from Forever 21. 
It's a two piece and it's like a bell bottom flary type of thing. I'm just gonna change out of these and throw in some sweatpants because it's raining outside and I do not want my pants to be dragging on nobody's ground. It's like 1.15 so I'm gonna head over to the closest nail salon and just tell them to hook my toes up real quick and that's gonna be it. When I get back I'm just gonna pick out my outfit for the day of surgery. The scheduling people called me yesterday and they said I need to be at the hospital at 6.30 in the morning. First it was eight. Then it was 7, and now it's 6.30. They just keep pushing the time back earlier and earlier. In that case, I might as well just pull an all-nighter. After I do my toes, I'm definitely going to take it down. I'm going to rest. I'm going to do absolutely nothing and get as much sleep as I can because, yeah. sitting in a long ass line there's 10 people in front of me and like 15 people behind me guess where i'm at y'all decided to come to starbucks okay wanted to get a little drink throat dry by the time i get to order my gas is gonna be gone why is there one in starbucks today literally came at the worst time <laughs> Please have a strawberry acai lemonade. What size? Uh, small. 30 motherfucking minutes later. It was worth the wait though. Hold up your hair! Somebody just take my drinky drink. Come here, Justice. Come here. I have an idea of what I'm gonna wear for surgery morning. I got this outfit from Forever 21, like last week. It's just a burgundy outfit. I feel like this is perfect throw on. That's squared away. Now I feel 100% complete because I got everything I needed to get done for myself before my surgery. You guys will, the next time you guys will see me, it's going to be the morning of. I literally have one more day until my procedure. Tomorrow I'm just gonna relax because that's the preparation day. Even though I have jitters, I know it's gonna work out for me. I'm already covered, I'm shielded. I honestly feel like going through with this is going to benefit me in the long run, better my quality of life. I wanted to bring you guys on this journey because somebody right now is going through this and you know, you may need some tips on on like what to get before surgery and how to prepare yourself for it especially if you don't really have support or you don't really know what to do like your emotions are all your emotions are all over the place like mine was but my faith in God is so strong that I don't feel nervous anymore well at least for right now I'm gonna get something to eat and straighten up a little bit and take this day to take the kids out because obviously I won't be able to in the next in the next couple of days it may be a little hard and difficult for them to see me in the bed not feeling good while I'm feeling like myself I'm going to take advantage of that and spend the rest of the day with my babies so that's pretty much it if you guys can leave me some sweet love and some comments down below make sure you subscribe if you have not already subscribe but you've been watching me what's, what's your reason all you gotta do is click the button also follow me on my social medias and keep up with me on instagram make sure you do that as well that's always down in the description I love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video